Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy. Today I'm going to talk about one of my absolute favorite tools. Uh, it's called Olibrief and it's one of the best ways I have found to actually work with clients on discovery. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Marlin and I've been running a branding, packaging and illustration studio for about seven years now. Especially for the branding projects, we work a lot with discovery and brand strategy, things like personas. And previously, we've basically taken them through a kind of a presentation deck where we have lots of topics and things that we discuss. And then we've had to spend a lot of time afterwards to create some sort of summary for our clients. When you work in Olibrief, you're actually creating the document with the client as you're strategizing together. And so it saves us so much time and I just find it a lot more intuitive. It also takes a lot less time preparing for the meeting. So because you guys have really loved the other videos on creative tools, like the ones for Notion or Webflow, for example, I'll put them down in the description as well. I thought I would do one on Olibrief for you. So I'm just gonna talk you through my setup and then you can check it out yourself. They have a free trial if you like. And not sponsored, I just really like them. So Olibrief can be used for tons of different things uh, and especially tons of different types of projects. So website, branding, illustration, discovery for anything basically. So um, in the beginning, you'll see here, there's an overview when you're creating a new project. And it's so that you can set everything up, add your client, add all the details. So I'll just quickly do this now. So just add client name. It'll ask you to put in a little bit of information so that you can keep track of everything that's going on. And then this section is really interesting because a lot of projects have different milestones. And I think this is where Olibrief is really useful for onboarding your clients. So if you're able to tell your clients already from the get-go, these are gonna be the different stages of the process and they get that overview. It's gonna be really helpful. And you can also set a date. So in this case, I might put discovery and we'll put here maybe strategy document. Then I can put a date, so I can put 2022, maybe May 29th. And then if you want, you can add new milestones, like maybe you have a research phase, a concepts phase, however you want to set it up, which is great that you can be so flexible. And then if you want, you can choose from the Olibrief templates. So there's already lots of really great ones for branding, website projects. Uh, but you can also create your own templates, which means if you create the same type of project a lot, you can just customize it to your own ways. And I have a couple different sections that I do, which are not traditionally included. So I'll show you this. So I'll just choose the branding one to start with, because that's the type of projects I usually do. And what happens is you get this kind of dashboard first. So here you have who's involved, the milestones, you'll have files that you can upload, you can link to external websites, let's say they have a website that they're super interested in. You can also see the activity of what's been happening. But this is where it gets really interesting. So when you choose a template like this, it will populate it with lots of different sections that might be useful. So like a competitors map where you can actually put different competitors and mark where they are. Like, are they super close to you? Are they really far away? There's lots of really interesting functions like this. Um, you also have things like questions, personas, where you can pick pictures and you can put little information. But what I think is the best way to get value out of Olibrief is to actually add your own sections. So you might have th sections like frustrations, values, personality, but we always include other sections that we didn't actually see here. And so those sections could be something like how do they solve everyday problems or which people influence them or things like that. So all you have to do then is go into edit mode and then you can edit the different information that is here. And you can also add different things or remove different things. So you can delete sections, you can add new elements, uh, and that makes it super flexible. As you're seeing this menu on the left, you're able to go and get rid of the exercises if they don't quite fit your workflow, or you can go and add your own. So you can use a template, you can design it from scratch, you can even create sections where you can build up your exercises into different sections. Like 
maybe the first one is about their customers the second section is about their process their sales maybe the third one is about their brand so it's really good for you to give your client a nice kind of overview of everything that you're going to be doing that day to give you an example of how you can personalize it, I, for example, always have one section for how might we questions where we brainstorm different things that are goals for the project. So that I've created as my very own one. Depending on how complex or simple you want the project to be, you can set it up to have lots of sections or not that many sections. And I can give you an example of what one of our projects looked like before. This was a slightly smaller project where we had the first big picture kickoff where we wanted to understand a little bit more about the company. So the questions were a little bit more about the current brand and how that was working, the mission, the vision and the brand walkthrough. And so those were kind of initial sections. Then we had the offer, personas, brand perception, positioning map inspiring brands and how might we questions. So this is what it could look like after you customize it. And the little green tick mark means that the section is finished. And so now we're gonna get to how to actually use this with your client. So once you feel like you've created the setup that you want and you're happy and you want your client to work with you on this, you can do it two ways. The way that I typically do it is I actually fill it in as I'm talking to my client in the discovery call. And that way they'll see that we're typing, they can see what's going on, see what we're putting out there. And then after the meeting, all I'll do is polish it up and maybe um, a little bit elaborate on the things we were talking about and make it more like full sentences instead of just bullet points. And then I'll share it. So I'll basically mark it as ready for review which you just toggle, this little toggle down here. And that means that your client can actually look at everything and just approve it and make sure that it's done. If you can go to your team and you can go to guests and here you can go in and you can add different guests. So you can invite a team member and that person will then be invited to a specific project. You'll want to make sure you add your client as a guest and not as an editor. So that way when they're set as guests, that means that they can go in and they can add their answers and then when they're done, they can just mark it ready for review and you can have a look through it. The very last thing I wanna share is just how to download this strategy report as a PDF once you and the client have approved everything that you've done together. And this is actually super simple. It's the same way that you also can share this document through a link. So all you have to do is to go to the top right corner, click share, and here you'll have the option to download as a PDF. I hope you thought that was helpful. Uh, it's been such a game-changing tool for us. So if you don't go check it out, I'll put that link down in the description. And if you like the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And let me know if there's another tool that maybe you're curious about or if there's a typical kind of pain point or problem that you want solved. And I can see if I can find a tool for it. Thank you for today and good luck with your projects.